Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tactics Ogre. Last time we left off, we were getting into a battle because Vice and Leonar have turned on us because uh, they wanted us to martyr a bunch of uh, prisoners that didn't want to fight and I absolutely refused to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we can get into here. I do have to put one more unit in, so... Katrina, I guess you're in with your level 5 self. Enjoy. Everyone else is like level 10 except for Batter in here, so... Cool, probably do need to give you um, some equipment and stuff, but first let's scout the battle and see what we got here. So, we got some we got some evil ass to beat. Uh, yeah, last time I was talking about how easy this fight was because we hit the high ground, and uh, now the shoe's on the other foot, huh? So, let's see what we got here. Okay, as far as uh, offense goes, definitely gonna be wanting to lean more towards Pierce. A lot of the enemies here are using like chain mail and chain leggings, so Pierce is gonna be a good thing to go with here. So Pierce for sure, probably gonna wanna limit the amount of crush that we use, which means I'm probably gonna have to swap around uh, Canopus' weapons. Okay, as far as their weapons go, it seems like they mostly have piercing weapons. The Berserker has claws and then they of course have a lot of bows. This mage is using air magic and has paralytic wave I'm gonna have to watch out for, because that would be annoying. They also have a rune fencer, so... Yeah, nothing too bad in here, but uh, we can set up my equipment so that I'm a little bit better suited to dealing with it. Right, so um, I switched us to our mostly leather equipment, so the chain leggings and everything are off. Um, I don't think it's worth changing out the chain mail for this, because it's only one resistance to... Um, Pierce, so it doesn't seem as worth it as the sleeves and the leggings. The leggings are much better in that regard. So we have leather sleeves and leggings on for everyone. I switched Canopus to having a shield and a short bow, so that you do Pierce damage instead of the crush damage that the uh, the uh, stone bow does. And then you, uh, I didn't really change anything about you. I don't really have a better weapon to put on you, Voltaire. So you're just still rocking the Morning Star, even though crush isn't the best here. Um, you have the great bow. You have the Volge, and uh, I actually took off the Blowpipe because it wasn't really doing too much last time, and I gave you this two-handed axe that I got uh, before, which I think is nice. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be rocking. Oh, you have a longbow you could equip, actually. I must have got one of these as a drop. Yeah. Okay, well, that's a little bit better for Sarah. We'll give that to Sarah. So, cool. And, uh, yeah, I think that's what I want to rock here. I think that's everything I want set up, so... Let me just do one more quick look. Ah, here's the new skill we got on Denim. Grants immunity to the Rampart aura, but move is reduced by one. Yeah, I mean, if we're running into a lot of enemies that have Rampart aura, that could be good to put on. Uh, I'm thinking I want to take off this Berserk um, thing, so... I don't know what I would put on instead? But it's not great. I'm... it, it scares me. <laughs> I, I do not like it. So, uh, I don't know. Put Insight on instead for the increased MP. That thing is just scary when it actually goes off, so I would rather just not have it on. But, uh, didn't some other characters get new skills and stuff as well? Yeah, here we go. Inflict Stagger and Air Reverse on enemy units within one tile. Chance of success increases with rank. Stagger and Air Reverse on enemy units within one tile. That is cool. Huapango wins. Um... I mean, I can take Resist Charm off. There's no enemies in this battle that can charm me, so... Sure, let's uh, throw that on really quickly. And... You got Sanctuary. Yeah, prevent undead from entering. You also got Sanctuary. You got back attack. Causes attacks to hit as if they were being made to the target's back, regardless of the target's facing. Ooh, that's pretty good. That is, uh, pretty good. Bye-bye, Resist Charm. Don't need you. Okay, well, that's a useful one to get. Neato. And then, anything else interesting around here? Sanctuary... Recruits. Yeah, not many other things. I probably want to try and recruit some characters at some point. I would like to recruit more, um, more, um, Vartans. Or just, you know, 
like you, because it would be really, really, really cool to have characters that can move as well as you can. Having flyers, as many flyers as possible, seems like it'd be quite strong, so. All right, I think we are good to go ahead and start just getting my party ready there to kick some ass. Do I do not let them harm the villagers. We will defend them with our own lives should it come to that. Go! Damn right we will. I really think it's super, super cool in this game uh, how it encourages using different types of equipment. Like, sometimes it's even sometimes it's even best to use a weaker piece of equipment because the current enemies you're fighting are actually weaker to it because of their armor. It's, it's so refreshing because so few games actually encourage that kind of behavior these days. Usually, um, equipment is kind of like a linear upgrade system where it's like, well, you got to the next tier, so this equipment's better than that equipment, and so on and so on and so on. Sometimes they have like, you know, oh, well, uh, uh, what is it? What is it? Uh, is it like a green beret in Final Fantasy Tactics? It's like, well, this gives you, um, speed. Or, uh, this, this particular item has this buff on it that you might want. But it's not often that it's like, oh, you're going into a fight with a bunch of people that use clubs. You only use stuff that's resistant to clubs. And I like that. I like when even weaker equipment can still have its uses. You know? That, that kind of stuff's cool. I like that. It also... Give, it, it's also interesting just before the fight to be like, all right, what are we dealing with? And kind of customize your equipment to match that and everything. It's a neat system. I really, really like it. This is definitely more in-depth than um, a lot of SRPGs I've played. And I think it's better for that. So, yeah. I definitely see why people really, really like Tactics Ogre. Um, apparently this is sold very, very well, too. So... Hopefully this um, gives Square Enix the kick in the ass to um, start investing in uh, SRPGs even more. You know, that would be cool. Uh, why is everybody so slow? Oh, have I? Oh, I turned... That That got turned down somehow. Interesting. Alrighty, well. Let's uh, destroy a water barrel. Okay, cool. Let's just start moving everybody up. We gotta get up to higher ground as quickly as we can. Back attack. There we go. You know, that is uh, an auto skill that just happens occasionally, so... Next time I shoot, I'll be able to do something. Katrina, you basically just need to survive. Period. Luckily, most of my characters were already kind of using Pierce anyway. Just how I have them set up. I do need more things, um, that is something I feel like I'm missing, uh, like, Accumulate or Tailwind or something like that. Something I can use to be buffing my characters during these, uh, initial parts here. While we're kind of waiting for the battle to kick off. Maybe there'd be some good buff items I can get in the shop for things like that. Because there is a lot of time wasted as we just kind of advance on each other here. So it'd be cool to get some items so we can kind of buff ourselves for the coming fight. Get some drugs, you know? Just start popping tons of drugs while the enemies are walking towards us. Yup. We're making our way, we are. We move like slugs, so... It is weird not having Vice in the party. Very, very weird. Kind of a dick, though. Even more so now. I already thought you were a dick, but now you're an ultra dick. And your, your new hairstyle looks stupid. Want you to know that, Vice, if you can hear me right now. Alrighty. Bonus objective complete. Oh yeah, let's uh, refresh ourselves on those bonus objectives really quickly. Uh, perform an attack with 100% accuracy. Honestly, most of the time it... Aside from a few, I don't even really have to think about these. Um, they kind of just happen. So... Alright, they're making their way. So, can you hit their Canopus? Not quite. If I move you right here, it looks like you may be able to. If you can get the distance, correct. No, can't quite reach. Damn you, short bow. You failed me for the last time. Alright, Voltaire, get your big chunky ass up there. We need you to take some fire here. Ooh, physical up. And you are wearing mostly leather stuff, so those uh, bows and stuff won't eat you up as much as they would normally. Uh, physical card? Yeah, give me that. I would like that. Beautiful. You get up here. You don't quite have enough for Tremendous Shot. Nah, you thought. 
God, you have like no jump, Selfina. Uh, didn't mean to cancel your move there. Alright, Zerwin. Go ahead and get in there and see what we got. I really want like a like an actual Lancer class to turn Derwin into potentially. I love like dragoons and stuff. They're so cool. When I when I when I tried to play Final Fantasy XIV um, with my friends, uh, I really really tried to get into it because I heard fantastic things about Final Fantasy XIV, and uh, it also has like a little campaign that's like Final Fantasy Tactics, which you know, I mean that's basically a surefire way to get me interested in something. Um, and I was going to play it, but, uh, basically all my friends just, like, passed me in the story so quickly, because, um... I just, uh, didn't have as much time to play as they did. But, uh... I'd like to get into it again maybe someday. Would be a good game to stream. Alright, Canopus. Go ahead and grab that high ground there, and let's start mm, shooting some people. Yes. Morningstar... Uh, can you- you can't reach that- no, you can't reach that, uh, physical damage up card. You're doing work with that shield right now, friends. You can go ahead and get this critical, though. There we go. Should've done that before I attacked, even. But I- I thought that was one of the auto-skill ones, so I wasn't too worried about it, but... Now I see- no, I should've been worried about it. Uh, 88. Okay, I can hit Oswin. Oh, no, you are out of range. Damn it. Huh. Is it just the... Is it just the short buzz that lets you... Oh, oh, wait, that's that's what it is. You're too close. Yeah, because the buzz can go, like, out of range all the way up there. I didn't even mean to actually do that, but... I was trying to do it too short. If my range is too close, I can't go out of the, the circles, but... Yeah, I, I got confused there. Um... I, I want to say the crossbows didn't work, right? I swear I tried with the crossbow, but I may have made the mistake of doing that thing that I just did, where I was trying to shoot someone too close to me and someone instead of someone too far away. Because it can go outside of its uh, range, but you know you can't shoot any closer than normal. It seems. Um, I'll hit Voltaire if I attack there. So let's stab you this way. Ow. Stop healing him! God, you got so many pocket healers. Look at you. Uh, Paralytic Wave. 65% chance on both of them. That sounds good to me, especially since you have a physical up. Yeah, there we go. Gotta use that, uh, that, uh, increased spell chance I got. Spell Strike. Alrighty. Spirits Weathered, blah blah blah, Gallop. Owie. Nice skill level up, though. Alright, get stabbed by a Dirk. Owie. Pincer. Be countered. That's fine. Uh, Batarin, there's not a whole lot you can do. Um, yeah, just get up here. This Dork is unfortunately blocking the way for us to get to, um, that thing that I want. Ow. Now you're really wrecking us with that pincer. Can I kill you? 57. I was really hoping I'd be able to kill you, because you're probably going to go grab that card. And I wanted that card. So, yeah, I could shoot outside of my range. Not quite, though. Let's just shoot you. Abraham. Abraham. Oh, that was almost enough to kill you. Damn it. Now you're just gonna get healed again. Owie. Voltaire. Good stuff. Um, who are we bonking? Let's see. The Enchantress goes next, which is all the way over there. So someone else will be able to take care of uh, Abraham over here. So let's see. Who do we want to bonk? I think I want to bonk you. Oh, you parried it. Well, never mind then. I didn't want to bonk you anyway. Definitely not. Okay, uh... Derwin definitely needs some healing here. So let's go ahead and drop a heal on you. XP 
beautiful. Katrina, could you kill? One damage, yeah, you do not do enough, unfortunately. Um, maybe if I Tremendous Shot, you'll do enough damage to actually hurt, too. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, you're quite weak at the moment. Um, I would knock you into the wall, though, since it's a guaranteed crit, so the wall might kill you. Nope, not quite enough. Oh, well. Um, Sarah can finish. Never mind, you have a longbow. Yeah, so I gotta go, like, stand back here. It's big damage, though. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's almost a waste to have you shoot. Shoot, uh... Out of range, yeah. Mm. And yeah, I can't hit them because I'll hit you instead. Yeah, this longbow's doing, uh, doing damage. Alright, let's just shoot Domini. And we'll prep that tremendous shot for you. Beautiful. Selfina. Yeah, I was kind of hoping you bumping into the wall would have uh, finished you off Abraham, but no. More skill triggers. Owie. Then I'll tell you, you're getting eaten up, friend. No! Don't let your prayers become a beacon. Damn it. Uh, can I get some more... 62%? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's looking real tasty. Ooh, I might hit Voltaire, though. Eh, I'll hold off. I'll hit these two instead. Yeah, let's hit those two. Good stuns. Beautiful. Yep. Good old stumble. Oh, yeah, we're messing these dorks up. Okay. Um, 96, not enough to kill. You couldn't really make it anywhere else of interest, though, so... That looks fine to me. There you go, Kashua. Thank you. The dork is finally dead. They wasted so much time keeping that idiot alive. Beautiful. Alright, so... Bonk. Good pincer. Lightning touched. Can you stab up there? Ah, but you can't reach that one. It would have been cool if you could have stabbed both of them, but no. Alrighty, well they're getting eaten up by all this pierce damage. You'll love to see it. It's okay, Kashua, you can take it, right? Haha, stumble. Yeah, that paralytic, uh, that paralytic wave is annihilating them. Uh... Yeah, unfortunately I can't really hit many of them too hard, because they're all wearing, uh... Too much heavy armor and probably have shields and stuff, yes. Yeah, you have a shield. Yep. So, we need to... We need to find a squishier target. How about you? Or you? Yeah, let's hit you, Thomas. Or... Ellen... You're looking juicy. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, I think I made the mistake with the uh, crossbows and assumed that you couldn't shoot outside the range with the crossbows, but I think I was trying to shoot too close. Um, I think I mentioned to uh, a commenter, I was like, oh, I tried it with crossbows and it didn't work shooting outside the range, but yeah, I think that's the mistake I made. Um, let's move right here so they can't move. Bonk. Um, put my back that way. Uh, Katrina, I need to make sure you live. So get healed. Uh-oh. You've made it to my back line. Welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay. Just keep healing up, Katrina. You gotta live through the fight so I can actually get you some XP. Um, let's see. Can I just hit you with a tornado and kill you? No. Not doing quite enough damage here. Anybody I, uh, specifically counter? Yeah, we have a lot of lightning enemies here. Yeah. Mm. Not ideal. Not a lot of Earth enemies for you to be targeting. Um, how successful could I be with a charm? 63% chance? Love me! 
Yes! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I finally got it. Cool. That has, like, a frankly even better chance of working than, like, Steel Heart. Steel Heart's the big charm that most people use in, uh, tactics. And it's terribly inaccurate. But, uh, cool. Hello. 105. I'll oh, take it. Ow. Congratulations on your skill trigger card. Ah, stumbled. And... what could we do here? Yeah, once again, the best thing you can do is tremendous shot and then make them bump into the wall. For the wall damage. Eat it, nerd. <laughs> Unfortunate. It's okay, Katrina. We'll level you up and you'll be fine. I needed to get them uh, a longbow. Both of my archers. Ooh, back attack. Um, so what do I want to do here? See, this is the other thing I mean, too. Us using longbows specifically means that, you know, there is a downside to that. It's not a linear upgrade, once again, because the longbow has way longer range, but also I can't shoot people as close. It's just super, super cool to see that. It's a very, very neat system. Unfortunately, yeah, you dorks are all way too close for me to actually hit. Um, there we go, now I can hit you. Big damage as well. Let me get that tremendous shot going again. Ooh, I can double stab. Oh yeah, beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Um, I will be taking that. Thank you, thank you. Yashua. Don't get too beat up now. Um, what is this? Auto skill? Uh, you're hurt currently. Hmm. Let's, uh, see if I can take you out. No. Not quite. I'll do more damage to you, actually. Let's hit you. Oh, no, you- Oh, I made you counter, which hit your friend and the, the charm wore off. Oh, that sucks. Unintended effects there. <laughs> Alrighty, well, um... 60... 74... You're almost dead, but you also have stumble on you, so you're less of a threat. Let's- let's work on you. Owie. There's a- there's a 50% chance that you just won't be able to do anything on your turn, so I'm not as worried about you. At least I- I think it's 50%. Um... Yeah, we're kind of annihilating them in this fight. Uh, Kashua needs some healing. Owie! Yeah, get punched, nerd. Um, let's see. I should smack you in the back of the head. Not enough to kill. Damn. Yeah, and I don't think Batarin has, uh, the thingy on. Mm. Alternately, I could hit you and then run and get that physical damage up. I think I'm gonna go for that one. I do feel just wildly powerful. My god. Um... E not a lot of good spots for you to go to. Okay, just go, um... Can you heal Katrina from here? You can't. Yeah. Hmm. Not a whole lot for you to do. Don also doesn't really need healing. Let's just stay there. Spell strike. Just got it back. Um, I'm amazed how long these status effects stay around. Uh, should I just attack or should I try to charm you again? Let's see. If I did tornado, 101 damage to you, 93 to you, 82 to you. You're going next. Yeah, dead shot will do more damage but it's still not enough to kill. Oh, wait, no, that's because I'm targeting you. Um... Yeah... Hmm. I would like to see if I can charm, like... that archer over there? What's my chances on charming you? Sure, Lloyd. Love me! Yay! Now nobody hit Lloyd! Alright, Lloyd Irving, 
loves me, and that is fine. Uh, who's coming up next? You. Eleanor is going next. Not enough to kill you, but that's fine. There we go. Good job, Kashua. Would have liked for you to heal yourself, but that's fine. Now, Donato. Um... You know what? You might want to use that Mend Leaf on yourself. Let's see, whose turns are coming up? Nah, the healer's turns are coming up soon enough. You'll be fine. Um... Really not a whole lot of point in you attacking, though, until you get that tremendous shot. Okay, so... Let's move... Right here. And I can hit you, or you. Not a ton of damage. And I don't want to hit my archer friend, obviously. Can I get over here and maybe hit somebody cool? I can hit the enchantress, I believe. Yeah, big damage. There we go. That's what I want to see. Uh, Sarah, you're the one that actually hits like a truck, so... Fortunately, I don't have the height to hit a lot of, uh, people. Let's move back here and shoot you. Nah, let's shoot you. You're more down here. This one's... You're close to dead, and you have stumble on still. Oh, wait, no, you're... Yeah, you're too close to him. Okay, it has to be you, then. Bonk. And... Can't use Tremendous Shot, so we wait. Alrighty. Nice skill. How dare you drain my HP. Uh, oh, I wish I could get right here to stab both of you. And I can't stab Oswin. You're still my friend, and your turn is next. Alright, let's just go right here. Let's, uh, let's zap somebody. Uh, sure. 67 looks good to me. There you go. Who are you gonna shoot? Oh! Damn it. I was really hoping that was gonna work. Alright, Donalto gets healed. Just end your turn right there. And let's heal you up as well. I'm not really moving them because they don't seem to be in the most danger right now, and it'll just make their turn come around faster. Alright, 98% chance to kill you. Thanks. Good stuff. Go ahead and grab some items for your trouble. Bulge in the chainmail. The stun finally fade faded. That thing lasts for a while. Like that that thing stays around. Owie. We're getting eaten up down there. Um, let's get you stuck in my ramparts here. 238. Oh my god! <laughs> Jeez, that was quite the hit to the dome. Okay. What's my chance on charming you? Can I charm you just to get you away from my friends down there? Because you're still like full health. Wow, we are on point with these charms, Miles. You must be the sexiest mage alive. Okay. Let's go right here. So I can get a big stabby on you. Ow. Pain. Yeah, I do like the idea of having multiple weapon types that each character can use. Uh, just because it'll it'll help suit me for different battles, you know, just kind of equipping myself the best that I can. Uh, so this is Katrina. Not a ton for you to do, but once again, we can tremendous shot and get some baby damage on like you. No, I can't. I can't shoot high enough. Okay, never mind. It's fine. It's not like it would do it a whole lot anyway. Donato, get healing. They really want Katrina dead. And I refuse. Katrina will get a lot of XP for this battle. Heartbeat of life got some rings. Stop draining HP! You little shit. Heal up Katrina again. Beautiful. Alrighty, so... 
can I do with this longbow? Can't really hit from there. Can't really do it from there either. I move right here. Oh my god. Yeah, the angles down here are horrible. Mm hmm. Yeah. Just can't hit you. Yeah, um. I think we wait until this character moves so I can get to a better spot there. Um, you should just die. Ooh, no, you do too much damage to waste on that. Yeah, because you have uh, two of the physical damage ups. Yeah, we'll let somebody else take out that character. Like you? Yes. There we go. Well, I'd say they were cleaned up pretty well here. Yeah, that charm is quite powerful. I love charm in basically all of these games. It's just such a strong thing to have access to. Heavy X. Good stuff. Owie! Why did they want to kill Katrina so bad? I know Katrina is poor and weak and defenseless, but you, you shouldn't be doing that. It's very mean. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, Miles was on point. Three for three on those charms. Quite amazing. Okay, so... Alright, Denim, just grab that, I suppose. That charm is going to be wearing off of you soon, I do believe. So, we'll work on taking you out in just a second. Let's just start moving my characters over there to get you... Katrina. Tremendous shot. And push that dork back. Go away. I actually think I already had that active on you. I might have just duplicated that. Um, then I'll take it down there and just keep our poor, poor friend alive. There we are. And if you move back here, yes, you can actually attack. Thank you. And we can tremendous shot as well. All right, beautiful. And you, let me just get down there and heal Katrina some more. This character is finally almost dead here, so. Um, Lloyd, your turn's coming up, so the charm's probably gonna wear off then though, isn't it? Maybe not, we'll hold off a little bit longer before I actually hit you. Let's uh, smack you. Yep. And... Lightning bow. Beautiful. More iron claws. Okay, yeah, now the charm faded. I was wondering if it was about to. Okay. Well... We can, uh, we can work on this. Let's see here... Tornado on you, Oswin? Yeah, this is in the bag. Um, can't quite reach you. Almost can, though. Ow. Once again. Hey, at least you're, that one damage is adding up, you know. We'll get you eventually. Ow. And, hello. Voltaire is your death. 142. My god, these crits, Voltaire. Because I got that crit up on you. Okay, so we should be good here. Just heal you up. And we'll heal Donato up as well, because they've been wailing on you a little bit. And Katrina. You can't tremendous shot. Do the one damage. If you'd have knocked him into the wall, that would have been great, but... Um... There we go. Final. Whoops. Can't afford it. Derwin. You can... Get down here. This enemy does have Lightning Averse, so we'll be able to do a little bit... Extra. Yeah, we're just kind of wearing you down. Slowly but surely. It is interesting that you can just shoot outside of the range with bows in this. 
Not what I would have expected. Um, I can deadshot you and it'll do more damage. Since I actually have line of sight. Uh, yeah, not a whole lot for you to do. Uh, I could do damage, but I'll be picking up a reset card. Eh. Just go over there. I mean, I don't really need the buffs. The battle's almost over, but still. I can't believe how unlucky I've been getting with those green cards. It's so saddening. Altair's turn is coming up. You don't really need to be doing anything. Yeah, I'm lazy. Altair's all the way up there, so you're gonna go pick on Katrina. That's fine. Because you can be shot in the back. There we are. And move you over there. Into the wall you go. Oh, that doesn't actually count as a wall. Oh well, this should be it. Goodbye. Whew. That was a long battle just because they had a better position on me, but not particularly difficult. Got a bunch of things, another longbow, so I don't have to buy one. Two of them. Awesome. Bronze Helm, Chainmail, some Oberiths. I did both of those things. Alright, Katrina, so you'll be able to grab some free XP here. Enjoy. Level 6. Batarin got a skill, I believe that said. Batarin and Kashua. Kashua leveled up with cudgels and Batarin got MP. Cool. Next will be your turn. I'll kill you by my own hand. I swear it! You're really salty about the hair, aren't you, Vice? There is blood on my hands. How long till it lies on my heart? Alrighty, yep. And there was the, uh... Cutscene there. Is that, is that a look at the future? A portent for things to come? That appears to be Denim and Kashua, and Denim is holding what looks to... It kind of looked like a lance. But yeah, we can see... Uh, a, a choice there. So I've went... I've went one route. And I know the routes are like lawful, neutral, and chaotic. I imagine I just went the chaotic route. Um... So that's a thing. I don't usually like the lawful routes anyway. I am confident in my decisions, so... Let's go ahead and create a save here. So now we're in chapter two Three as well. Three weeks had passed since the massacre at Balmamusa. The tragedy had been as flint to fire for the Wallister, bringing them together as never before. Indeed, it proved more than enough to inspire to action those Gargastani who bore no love for Balbatos. Soon, the Gargastani had split into two camps, placing Hierophant Balbatos in the most precarious position. Balbatos essayed to silence the voices of dissent, but as cities began to fall to the Duke's resistance, he was obliged to retreat to the safety of his keep in Coritani. As Galgastan faltered, more joined the Wallister resistance. Soon the rebel ranks had grown to fully threefold their former number. It seemed only a matter of days before Balbatos would be brought out before his own walls to answer for what he had done. As for Denim, through the Duke's scheming, he had been named a mastermind of the massacre and a price put on his head. Resistance fighters and headhunters alike scour the high roads for him, while Denim finds temporary solace in the port town of Ashton. That is not how I would have guessed to say that. Huh, so yep, uh, Duke Ronway continues to be an asshole. Their plan worked, but I didn't have any doubt that their plan would work, but kind of threw away your humanity and morals Don't to do go it. Don't blaming yourself. 
You did all you could. Like, God, what a what a shitty way to win your war. Martyring, like, thousands of people. It, it, it always sucks when it ends up working out for them, because then they're like, yeah, see, my idea worked. But it's like, no, but you're, you're a jackass. There might have been a way to do this without that. I did nothing. I couldn't save them. Denim, what if we left this place? Sailed far away and never looked back? We've been through this. Father must be avenged. Besides, how could we leave things as they are? Now, we stay and see this through. We owe it to those who died at Balmamusa. <sighs> at it again, are you? Give your quibbling a rest and look at this. As the Duke grows more impatient, you grow more valuable. Up to 30,000 goth now. Hell yeah, look at me! I'm gonna- I'm gonna be giving Luffy a run for his money on that, uh, that bounty reward soon. Salt in our wounds. We are criminals. Before all the world. Yeah, because a lying bastard painted us so. Justice and war seldom keep company. In the heat of battle, all are criminal and all are innocent. Only later does the victor decide who is which. That's the way of the world. Yeah, I mean, that is, that is pretty true, Canopus. You are not wrong there. And since I lost, since I failed Balmamusa, I am made a criminal for it. All the more reason to be on the winning side. Come, enough navel-gazing. We need to go. Go? Where? The Wallister army gathers southwest of the Burnham Massif in the Sanji Weald. Of course. Galgastan doesn't stand a chance of repelling the resistance. Not now. You touch it with a needle. Balbatos's days are numbered. I dare say Wallister victory is in the air. In which case, we shall remain outlaws. All the more reason to be on our way. Something must be done. Word reaches me that the Holy Knight Lancelot has taken up position behind the Wallister, on Tynemouth Hill to be exact. With the Wallister massed elsewhere, Tynemouth will have but light defense. What better place to break through the line? Of course. Lancelot will aid us. I am certain. Then we move. There's not more to be done in this wretched place. There we go. New title earned, Fallen Hero. I feel like if Ramza was here, Ramza would also have chosen the Chaos route, so... Oh wow, we basically reset our map. That's interesting. Interesting. Port Ash... S. Ashton. That's really not how I would have expected to say that. So, let's check out the Warren report really quickly and see what we got here. Ooh, and it resets for this too. A massacre has taken place at Balma Musa. There are no survivors. Balma Musa was set aside for the Wallister by the Kingdom of Galgastani, and all those who perished were of Wallister blood. Women and children were spared no mercy as the town was engulfed in flames. The killings are thought to be an act of retribution by the Galgastani for the recapture of Amor Castle by the Resistance. Hierophant Balbados maintains he is not responsible. Yeah, it is pretty insane just how well their plan worked. Like, not only did they get descent into Balbatos' uh, ranks, but they also rallied the Wallister. Hearing of the massacre at Balma Musa, factions within the Galgastani camp have risen up against their leaders. They sought to oust the Hierophant, but army forces have crushed the rebellion with a savage display of force. Many are deserting their army or seeking to incite a coup d'etat. And the chain of command is in tatters. Hero of Goliath, a traitor? The Wallister Resistance has placed a bounty on the head of the young hero of Goliath who recaptured Almorica Castle. They have named him as the one responsible for the massacre at Balma Musa. He has thus far evaded pursuit and is now in hiding. Bounty stands at a staggering 30,000 goth. 
Reports indicate that forces of the Walls to Resistance led by Duke Ronway are massing in the Sanji Weald near Koratane Keep. Galgastani now make up about half the Resistance army, and the battle lines are no longer as clearly drawn as in the past. It seems a final push will be made in the coming days. Yep. People? So we got a... Oh, Denim and Vice. Here we go. Wallister hailing from Goliath who leads the Order of Shadow Scale. He joined the Wallister Resistance after freeing Duke Ronway from his imprisonment at Almorica Castle. He later broke his ties with them after opposing the Duke's plan to unite the people by slaughtering Wallister at Balmamusa. He's currently in hiding with his sister Kashua, awaiting an opportunity to overthrow the Duke. A Wallister hailing from Goliath who grew up with Denim. Together they rescued Duke Ronway and joined the Wallister Resistance. He took part in the massacre of innocent Wallister at Balmamusa despite Denim's opposition, creating a rift between them. The Duke rewarded his loyalty by appointing him the leader of the Resistance's third spear. How can you side with someone that has an evil ass face like that? Look at this evil bastard. Alright, so there's two things. Ravnus? Um. Da -da -da, so, okay, so, though known for her calm demeanor, she stubbornly opposes the use of underhanded tactics. She wanted no part in Duke Ronway's plan for the massacre at Bama Musa. Instead, she confronted Sir Leonar and turned her back on the Resistance. Beautiful. Alright, and the Regent Branton Morn. A Bakram who serves as regent to the Bakram Valerian Kingdom. Following the death of King Dorgalua, he aspired to rule over Valeria himself. Though once a Mirabuna in the Order of Falaha, he rose to become an exarch and used his position in the church to intervene in the power struggle caused by the lack of a successor. He consolidated his political power by courting the favor of the noble and wealthy. Backed by the military might of Lotus to the north, he established the Bakken Valerian Kingdom and installed himself as regent. The kingdom is headed by the heir of House El Tanaha due to their blood ties with King Bernada, but it is Branton who rules. Interesting, interesting. Use this position in the church to intervene in the power struggle caused by the lack of a successor. And courted the noble and wealthy. Yep. Arfan Balbados, leader of the Kingdom of Gagastan. After war broke out, he established a realm ruled by the descendant of Count Orlandu, the former lord of Courtenay. I want to say... Is... I want to say I've heard before that Orlandu in... Final Fantasy Tactics is the same Orlando here. One second. Hmm. Okay. I couldn't really find confirmation that, you know, that is Orlan the Orlando or anything like that. There's apparently another character that uh, draws a lot of similarities to Orlando. Apparently this specific reference to Count Orlando was oddly enough added in the PSP version um, of uh, Tactics Ogre. And then that obviously carried over to this. But I, I, since it says Count Orlando, I immediately thought of Orlando from Tactics, so I thought I would check. But uh, I can't find any direct confirmation on it from... Because I, I don't want to look too much, because I don't want to get spoiled on anything to do with the plot in this game. So I just did a, a little, little look, but... Can't know for sure with my current ability, so... He started the Blood War to suppress the Wallister and take the southern half of Valeria for his own. Within a few months, he crushed the Wallister forces and captured their leader, Duke Ronway. Even, few Gagastani, even fellow Gagastani voiced concern at his high-handed policies, but all were soon silenced. He is a ruthless and calculating man. I mean, it, it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for this to actually be Orlando from Final Fantasy Tactics, because that takes place in Evil East, and as far as I understand, this doesn't. But, um... I mean, there's been crossovers in games before where a character is just inexplicably in a, in a world they're not supposed to be. So, it wouldn't be the strangest thing. Might just be a simple reference. Leader of the Wallister Resistance. After the onset of war, he led the beleaguered Wallister people in their resistance of the Golgastani. They fought resolutely for many months before facing defeats, unable to match the might of the opposing armies. The Duke was held prisoner in his own castle, but was later freed by a group of partisans. He then took the helm of the resistance once more. He's also a stupid jackass. Uh, titles. Fallen hero. We are a fallen hero. Okay, I don't think there's anything else here. Tidings. These are just, uh, different little cutscenes and stuff. They all say new, but I'm pretty sure we've seen these before, so... Uh, alrighty. Well, I guess with that, we will 
progress with uh, the story a little bit more here. I do need to shop. Take a look around. Thank you. You can take my money. So, what can we get here? Nothing new in the shops, actually. I thought advancing to a whole new chapter would have updated, but it hasn't actually told me the shops sell new stuff yet, so... Yeah, I guess that's fair. Uh, I guess that's fair. Alrighty, it's not like I have a ton of money anyway, so... bye bye So I guess we're just going to the Rehboam Aqueduct. Constructed in ancient times, the now more cracks run through it than water. Some travelers use the dry passage as an alternate alternative to walking the high road. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Vanquish the enemy leader. Win with a Vartan. Perform an action to debuff an enemy. Perform an attack with 100% accuracy. All right, Katrina, you're still. Uh, you're still with us here, huh? I can give you some new stuff at least, so... Let's go ahead and start checking everybody out here. Okay, it seems like Pierce is what we want to go for our attack types again. And it seems like they mostly have Pierce with a, uh... An axe and some morning stars, and then just a bunch of cudgels, so... Some, uh, some pierce, some crush damage, but, uh, probably want to stick with the same equipment we currently have on to limit the damage we take from those bows. So, I do believe that is good. I might want to check just to make sure they don't have any, like, crazy abilities or anything. Um, let's, uh, investigate them here. You have a finishing move. Bows, dark weight, ranged bow attack that deals piercing damage to a single target with an impaling shot has a chance to leaden the target. Yike. Well, that sounds not fun. Okay. And then you have Rampart Aura and stuff. No one else has anything too interesting. You do have Fire and Paralytic Wave. Alrighty. And they have a few items. Antidote. Restore sense. Okay, nothing too crazy, though. Alrighty. With that, why don't we go ahead and start the battle? Just, yeah, pretty easy things to do. I have Canopus in my party, so the Vartan thing is going to be easy peasy. Or to Ashton. I find you, Denim. You've given good chase, but the hunt ends here. Aha, uh -huh, we got bounty hunters after me. You're not the first headhunter to mistake me for easy quarry. Oh, I'll have your head. But I am no headhunter. You'll pay in blood for what you did in Balmamusa. Yep. Everybody's got the wrong idea. You were in Balmamusa. Please, you must hear me. We are past. Oh, this is gonna feel bad. I... I hope we don't have to actually kill you. It says vanquish, but... Can we, like, knock you out and let you leave? I suppose you would just come back. This is like, a, I don't know, this is just an unfortunate moment. I really, really don't want to kill you. Kind of reminds me of, uh, Meludia. Uh, you can get pretty up there. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's not a bad spot for you. Let's see. Can you... You can do two damage, eight damage. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's not gonna work out. Dang. Not super well. But hey, I got my bonus objective complete. Some of these bonus objectives are crazy easy. I don't even think that was worth actually attacking with a cannabis. Your turn would've came faster if I just hadn't. It was eight damage. Oh well. Let's just keep moving ahead. I can't wait to get that ability that you have, that finishing move. Owie. Don't do that. Derwin. Oh yeah, I gotta use, um... I gotta use your, your thingy. I never used that last, uh... Last fight, Canopus. I need to... Actually give that a shot. Your, uh, little wind ability that you got. Enough of this! 
We did no murder in Balmamusa. We were there. I'll not deny it. But we did all we could to stop the slaughter. Lies. I only pray you sold your loyalty for a worthy sum. Yeah. I mean, fighting back against the status quo and the elite is always going to be hard because they can just spread lies about the about us like this and use money to win people over in jazz. Always unfortunate. Got anything good for me, Box? Magic up? I'll take that. Uh huh. Let's see. Probably destroy some more of these. Oh, this is Voltaire. Um, you move up there. We'll have somebody else destroy some more of these boxes. Like you. Bonk. Just an auto skill thing. What about you? A uh, physical attack up. That might not be the worst. Hemp and thread. Oh, we just found that sitting on the ground. Okay, back attack. It would be nice to get you on top of that building too. 79 to you. That's good to me. Can't use my skill, so that'll be fine. Spell strike is active. Could paralytic wave you. 59% chance though. And I can't hit you, so we're just gonna wait. Okay, fine, you can have it, Kashua. Jeez. Um. Yeah, once again, just not a whole lot for you to do. You're gonna want to run over there, I think. Katrina. Maybe we should consider just changing your class to something where you might be a little bit more useful. Um... I mean, you can get right here. Do you have a spear as well? You have a morning star, so... Like you're right here, you... can just take that damage. There we go. Well, we're not having too much trouble yet. I haven't had to grind yet, which is nice. But I'm sure, once again, there will be points where I will need to grind. Um, Denim? Mm, if I could get you into a better spot, I would send you down there right now, but... Uh... I just don't know. That doesn't look like a good spot to just throw you into. I'm gonna wait. Let them come to us. We have a good position over here. Except for you, Voltaire. You can walk in. You're tanky. Ow. Yep. Miss. Okay. Um, can I hit anybody of interest with this? Yes, you. Ooh, or you. Yeah, I know the healer for sure. We gotta, we gotta kill that healer. That's gonna be your job, Cannabis. You tried. Um, Batarin? You go along the side here. We need some support on this side. With this Berserker running down here. Ow. Not a whole lot for you to do. Uh, Denim, I mean, we gotta get you in there. Sure. Oh, I shouldn't have even bothered having you attack that thing. Oh, your RT's all screwed up. I thought I was maybe gonna be able to destroy it, but it had extra HP. Um, can you make it over there? My God, you're so slow. Um, what about right here? No. You still have spell strike, so... Uh, no, I want to try and charm. 59% chance on Johannes here. I'll tempt it. I'm telling you, Miles, on point with those things. Beautiful. Love to see it. Go ahead and heal up Sarah. So fantastic. Donalto, you can be the healer on this side. And you can heal up Darwin. Wonderful. I am still interested in potentially changing you to like a mage or something. Because you have that increased mind stat. We'll have to see though. Spark Sphere. Okay, not a whole lot for you to do. 79. Not big damage there. Mm. 
Let's see, if you move right here, okay, I can hit you. So let's trim into shot and hit that berserker. That looks like a good call to me. There we are. Physical damage up on your archer. Owie. Okay, and we just keep sniping you, Leofwin. Because you need to go down. Because the faster we kill the healer, the kill the healer, the easier this is gonna be. Poke. And you're gonna attack Batarin, that's fine. Batarin can take it. Bonk. I do like how our allies get um the uh, relevant skill uh, points as long as they have it equipped when they get attacked by the weapons too because it makes sense you would learn proficiency with weapons by seeing other people use the same weapon. Good job, Johannes. Proud of you. Ow. Yeah, you like that? Um, okay, you're right in my face here. Uh, I can't make it to the other side of you. That would be nice, but... Big bonks. Denim's... Ooh, I should have moved you back so Denim could get in there. Okay, you're healing yourself. Uh... Yeah, you still can't really do a lot. Maybe I should have... I should have just, like, turned you into a healer. So we would have another person to actually drop heals, because you're, you're not doing anything with this bow right now. Um... It's just... Yeah, it's not working out. You're kind of just useless at the moment. But if I had you on a healer, I could at least use you to heal people. Casual, you're really not going to heal yourself, huh? Bold strategy, Cotton. We'll see how it pays off for her. Just going to run in and not heal yourself. Um... Yeah, I mean, let's just keep healing up Kashua. You need to stay alive. Voltaire can take some more hits, but you're pretty low HP. Damn it all. Yeah, I should have moved Johannes back, or er, uh, Voltaire back. Damn it. Okay, well, we'll see if we can uh, get some more charms down here. 59, 59. Yeah. Might just start trying to take him out, though. Yeah, yeah, we can just start trying to take you out. Some extra damage. Although it does seem like debuffs are the best thing that a mage can do. It just... It helps out so much. Keep shooting you. If you're focused on healing yourself, you can't heal anyone else. Owie. Yeah, you're eating up Voltaire there. Ooh. Pain. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna move right here. Now, do I want to hit you or you? You're lower HP. Let's just focus on taking you out. Sarah, get a nice back attack there. Um, let's see. Yeah, you can shoot pretty damn far. Ooh. Oh, if only you could hit them. Okay, I'm gonna shoot the Enchantress there. That looks good to me. The Berserker's right in front of my face. Skill trigger, that's fine. Wonderful. Owie. Oh no, you poor, poor thing, Sarah. Um, yeah, that looks good to me. Nice bonk in the back. All right, Batarin. Gonna need you to continue killing Emric here. The weather turns. Yeah, charming, charming that night was a good call. That is working out beautifully. Tremenda shot the berserker into the bush. Bang. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna change her class, Katrina. Even if you were just a mage, you would be more useful. Ooh, that's a death. Yeah, that's a that's a downed Katrina. We'll have to bring you back with a blessing stone. Because I don't want to lose you. Um okay, yep, you're here now. Denim. You could get in there and do some big damage. Or attack here. 
We gotta take out these that are kind of in the middle of my ranks first. Um, you don't have a Blessing Stone and you can't like revive or anything. So, yep, right there. Let's see. I would like to heal Voltaire, but it can't get in range, so Kashua it is. Could you heal Voltaire, please? You're really just very aggro, Kashua. You know that? Um... God, I really need to heal you. I'm just gonna have to move you over here. The enemies can just shoot their stupid arrows over it anyway. Okay, we'll we'll worry about that in a second. Um, I would like to charm another enemy here, just to kind of screw things up for them. If I could get another one. The archer would be fantastic, but I don't think that's gonna work out. How about you? I can hit you. No, I can't. It's gonna hit. It's gonna hit Voltaire. Damn it. Tornado's enough to kill, though. Yeah. Dead. Beautiful. And you... Can't kill you. Hmm. I wouldn't mind getting down here and grabbing that. But I do like your current position. Let's just keep focusing that healer, like I said. It's the best thing for Canopus right now. Uh, the charm is still active on their knights. Ow. Shit. That hurts, you know. Okay. Um. Can I reach you back there? Nope. It would be amazing if I could, but no. Um. Could hit you, could hit you. Let's hit, uh, Brenna here. And I'll tremendous shot next round. Okay, um... Yeah, I think I want to move you back a little bit, Derwin. Actually, you could heal some people up. Let's see... The... Rose is going next. I think actually what I want to do is move you back here and heal Selfina because Rose is about to attack and I don't want you to get killed. You just stole my shit. Okay, you're just attacking Kashua, that's fine. Sorry, Kashua. I know that sounded mean, but believe me, it's okay. You're not going to do that much damage. I would rather you just heal yourself. Yeah. Meditate. Who are you gonna heal? Ah, the mage. Charm fades, unfortunately. That is annoying. Batarin is still trapped over here dealing with you. Um. Yeah. I mean, I gotta chase you down and kill you. Thing. Don't have much HP left, so... Ow! Pain. Okay. Heal up. And let's see what we got here. So I could get a pincer attack with you. I'm definitely gonna need Miles to try and charm someone else again in just a second. But let's get a pincer with you. There we are. Kashua, you really have a death wish, but hey, I mean, you got the kill, so I guess I should be happy. Um, Batarin's not doing well, and I feel like they could probably shoot Batarin in the back and get a kill there. Um, I think I'm going to heal Batarin. So, get healed up, friend. Alright, Canopus. Just back on your bullshit, friend. Just shoot that stupid healer. Almost dead. Alright, Miles. You... Could you could you charm for me one more time? Ow, oh, I mean, it, it was high time you missed. It was high time you missed. 
We could our, our luck couldn't stay forever. Couldn't hold. Chainmail. Fire reverse fades. Derwin. You're not looking the greatest here. That Min's Leaf would do basically nothing. I would like to get that physical damage up. Um, when your turn next comes around, let's see, if I use a Bless Stone on you, I think I'm gonna wait. I think I'm instead just going to heal myself. Played a little bit safe here. You still have two more turns, so. Kashua, you really need to get out of there, friend. Um, can I reach you from here? No, I cannot. There we go. Because you're quite strong, and you do have that magic buff right now, but I really wish you would stop just running in like that. Uh, ooh, I can hit you. Yes. Dead healer. Thank you. My god. Very annoying. Um... You might need to run back a little bit, Sarah. Oops. Or you could get up here. And that'll put you in kind of a risky position. Let's keep you over here. Damn, this is probably gonna be a really long episode, but... I mean, I like doing two battles an episode. Damn it. I'm sorry, Denim. I cannot remain here. I tried to keep you alive as long as I could. I really tried. I really did. Okay, um, let's block you off from getting that. Morning star, you. My brother injured his leg. He couldn't even walk, but they cut him down just the same. Yeah, you're not happy with me. I, I get that, Owie. All the Duke's doing. Galgastan had no hand in it, though the Duke wished it to appear so. Believe what you will. I speak the truth. Have you no shame? If she'll not listen to reason, she leaves us no choice. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be convincing you. You're just not going to believe us. Um, I think I just want to attack you and then run and get that attack up. Yeah, I could have gotten a pincer with a uh, Voltaire, but I would rather do this. Um, let's see, that Berserker's turn is coming up. Let's go ahead and revive you. Okay. That looks good to me. Capacitated fades. Um, you can't really do much. You do have a heal you could give yourself. Sure, use a Mind Leaf. I doubt it's going to save you if someone decides to attack you, but it's something. How dare you? Uh, the Enchantress. I do believe so. Yeah. There you go. That's just such a good perch for Canopus. It's amazing. Luckily, this Berserker's slow as hell. Bonk. Good job, Batarin. Alright, Spell Strike is active once again. Don't have enough for the charm, so. I'm done with just attacking you. That looks good to me. I really need teleport from the t from Time Mage. Would make things so much easier for you. Of course, they have mentioned before in the Warren report that there's equipment that allows us to fly, like boots we can get that allows us to fly and like, um, uh, teleport and things like that. So that'll be useful to get on my mages at some point. Hold, Aracel. You must hear me. Ooh, Donalto, you have a unique dialogue here. All Derem has told you is true. We were conspired against. Abuna Donalto? How can this be? Leonar said that you... You died in Balmamusa. Leonar told you this? I did not think him capable of such duplicity. Aracel, as I am living proof, Leonar's words are false. A cousin a playwright. He knows the truth, yet writes for us a damning fiction. What do you mean to say? That Leonar has misled me on purpose? I really hope that because I have Donalto in this battle, I can recruit you? That would be awesome. Nay, this is no fiction. I know the horrors I saw in Balmamusa. I will never forget. Damn it. No, Arasa. 
You are captive to your own rage. It veils you from the truth. Oh, great father Philaha, raise this child's heart from the dark recesses of hate. That would have been cool. That would have been cool if because I had Donalto in the fight, I maybe could have gotten you. That would have been neat. Fortunately, it seems like no dice. Ow. I was all excited. Oh well. It's fine. I did- I did want a cool, unique archer, but, uh... This is fine, too. Can I have two of these buffs active at the same time, or will Tremendous Shot overwrite this other thing? I'm kind of scared to try it. I don't need it anyway to kill Brenna. Bye, Brenna. Here we are. We can go ahead and activate this for next round, now. Boom. Canopus, you're running out of people to actually shoot and, uh, and do damage to, but that's a fine target. Canopus is so busted, I swear. Ow! That's big damage. God, that dark weight. You're stealing all my shit. I'm just gonna get it back from you anyway. Um, so I used all of that stuff, yeah. Once again, there's just not a whole lot for you to do. Just get the physical damage up. Maybe you'll actually be able to hurt something then. Uh... 127, that is just enough to kill. Beautiful. Perfect. Oh, damn it, there's a little bit of damage variation on that. Oh, I didn't think there would be. Oh, that sucks. Okay, um... I mean, I, I, I've been making a point to kind of kill all of the uh, enemies in battles. Um, I could just attack RSL right now, but let's let's kill some of these other enemies as well. I think it's a good call. Really getting sick and tired of you healing, you bastard. Our heals are starting to not be able to keep up with uh, things here. Bonk. I can't believe you survived with one HP. How annoying. How incredibly frustrating. Alright, it's fine though. You can finish things off, Derwin. You're unfortunately going to be hitting Voltaire, but it's worth it in my opinion. I might have just been able to kill you with magic, but it's fine. We're gonna be A-OK. -okay. Canopus. Just keep doing your shit there. Nothing for you to do. Ow! I can't believe you're hitting the, you're hitting Donalto. You just had a nice conversation with Donalto. How could you? Um, dead shots. Yes. Bang. Beautiful. And stab you. Nice counter. Ugh. Damn it! You and your stupid crits. Okay, maybe we should, uh... Focus on winning the fight now. Ooh, I can just hit you from right here. Bastard! Eat shit. Okay, that worked. And you're just gonna heal the boss now. You're so annoying, this stupid knight, I swear. Um, at least I can get... Oh no, you don't have, uh, the Blessing Stones. I'm gonna have to get some more of those. Alright, well... Bonk. Killing this knight would take forever. I might just beat the boss now and end it. Um, yeah, you don't have any Blessing Stones. We'll be able to get, um... Yeah. You have one. So... Let's go ahead and pop it there, just to get you back up. Just for safety's sake. Good stuff. Move back as far as you possibly can, and heal. There we are. Yeah, I'm just gonna focus on the boss now. We don't- we don't need to kill this final knight. It's fine. Could, like, grind skill points and stuff, but who cares? Alright, RSL. Ooh, a bunch of stuff. 
Spell Strike fades. We got it right back. Um, that's gonna hit you. And there we go. Now I can hit you. Eat air. Did Leonard know his error when he spoke to me of Abuna Donato's death? He's lying. Okay, you can just stay down. This fight's about to be over, so... Very, very soon here. Go away, Johannes. Back attack. Let's see, plus magic. Maybe I should... See, now I'm doubting, because you're talking and stuff, I'm like... If I maybe wait long enough, will you just give up? I wonder. That could be cool, right? Let's get you just a really, really low HP. I know when I am bested, though the knowledge that my brother goes unavenged pains me more than any wound. It is done. Now kill me. Kill as you did in Balma Musa. No. I will not. You are not my foe. If you have lost the will to fight, leave. I will not give chase. Good, we don't have to finish you. If I leave here now, I will only return to claim your life. Then know I am bound for Tynemouth. If you would hunt me, hunt me there. You're going to regret this. Yep, we got an assassin after us. Alrighty, well it's fine. Whew, that's another battle done. Regret. There is already too much for me to regret. Damn right, Denim. Don't we all? There we go. That wasn't so bad. A little bit spookier than some of the other battles we've had, but... Ooh, five beast hide. And an avoidance charm. Three of them. Ooh. And five experience charms, too. It raises my avoid. That'll be nice. Okay, so that's just a straight-up stat-up charm, yeah? Well, I'm probably gonna be wanting to use those. Big level ups for everybody. Level cap. Yay! We've hit our level cap. Okay, Katrina got better with bows, got HP. Batarin got that one skill. Denim got, uh, the... Pincer attack level 2, I believe that is. So we got MP level 2 and Danaka got that level 2. Cool. Neato. Items restocked. Party level up. Cool. And, um, we can look in the party. I want to see these things, these, these charms that I got. So, charms. So, the experience charms I could give. Avoidance charm. Yeah, so it's just a permanent stat boost to evasion. Well, I mean, I feel like that would be useful to use on, like, Denim. Um. Yeah. Canopus already has monstrous evasion, so... Here you go, Denim. It's very slight, but... I see no better character for that than my main character, so... I also have these XP charms as well, but... Um... Katrina, we've been over this. I think I should change your class to, like... Something that's not this. Would like a would like to change you to a cleric, I believe. You're just you're just not doing anything at the moment. Uh but I think we'll handle that next time. This episode's already monstrously long, so. Alrighty. I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode of Tactics Ogre off here. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.